very good morning students we were solving examples based on index numbers let us resume <coughs> next example compute kelle's price index number for 2005 from the following data commodity a b c d price in 2000 price in 2005 it is given price in 2000 in the sense it is p naught because 2000 is base year as compared to 2005 so 2000 2000 is the base year and 2005 is the current year so price in base year 2000 it will be p naught price in current year 2005 it will be p1 and here quantity it is given neither it has been shown as base year quantity or current year quantity but just quantity it has been given that's why we neither cannot write it as q0 nor even q1 but it has to be written as just q and kelle's price index number as we know already it is a fixed weight price index number that fixed weight is nothing but q as a quantity but not as q0 or q1 formula also we know already what is the formula of Kelle's price index number try to recall sum of P1 Q divided by sum of P0 Q multiplied by 100. Fine. So how the calculation will go? So first it is P0 the values which were given I mean to tell 2000 year 15, 24, 10 which were given those are considered as P0 15, 24 and 10 and next which were there for 2005 22, 27, 7 and 20 have been considered as P1 and then which is given as quantity those values have been considered as Q we know Kelly's price index number that it is P01K is equal to sum of P1Q divided by sum of P0Q multiplied by 100. So accordingly calculate here the columns P0Q and P1Q we need to substitute here. So in the numerator what you want P1 multiplied by Q this P1 and multiplied by Q that means 22 multiplied by 15.5, 27 multiplied by 12.5, 7 multiplied by 7.5, 20 multiplied by 7.5. All these may have to be done as P1Q. So here are those values. And then in order to substitute in denominator, we want P0 multiplied by Q. P0 is here. Q is here, so 15 multiplied by 15.5, 20 multiplied by 12.5, that way all these P naught Q values to be calculated. Though sum we want, that's why sum of P naught Q here as 587.5 and sum of P1 Q here as 881 we have got. Substitute those, 881 is in numerator and 587.5 is in denominator according to the formula multiplied by 100 when you perform this 811 divided by 587.5 multiplied by 100 you will come across 149.96 as the answer so what do you conclude 49.96 percent increase in price level of commodities in current year as compared to base year using Kelle's price index 
नंबर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम कंप्यूट एन इंडेक्स नंबर बाय यूजिंग द फॉलोइंग डेटा द डेटा हैज बीन गिवन इन दिस वे कमोडिटीज आर ए बी सी डी एंड ई फॉर दीज वेरियस कमोडिटीज ए टू ई बेस ईयर क्वांटिटीज हैव बीन गिवन 20 40 40 50 एंड 50 are the base year quantities for these various commodities base year is nothing but zero in terms of notation and then it is given as quantities so these values are nothing but q not values then further price in rupees it is given base year and current year so that these given values 8 12 24 and 5 are p not values for these commodities whereas 4 10 15 25 and 10 are p1 values for these commodities so here in the question it has been asked compute an index number by using the following data which index number to be calculated it has not been specified but it has been asked in the way a suitable index number for this data has to be calculated so here you may have to recall students how any index numbers that to you know weighted aggregative index numbers are being calculated once when current year and base year prices are there then we think of price index number to be calculated and if it is given in question base year and current year quantities then we think of quantity index number here you can observe the given data base year and current year prices are given that is nothing but p0 and p1 are given so p1 by p0 format is becoming possible here and only base year quantities have been given that means these will be considered as weight applied for price index number so here p1 by p0 is becoming possible general format of like you know an index number or price relative is becoming possible in the way p1 by p0 and only left out is base year quantity those are being applied as the weight try to recall students which we have already studied previously once when base year quantities are given which price index number it is to be calculated or for which index number base year quantities are given as weights try to recall which index number it is it is nothing but last peers index number so here p1 by p0 when it is becoming possible we are concluding it is a price index number then it is applied base year quantities that's why we are concluding it to be calculated last peers index number or else last peers price index number so here in terms of solution it has been given here quantities of base year that means q not alone are given along with prices and so we construct last peers index number so what is the formula for last peers index number try to recall before it appears on the screen it's nothing but summation of p1 in the numerator divided by summation of p0 in the denominator and q0 and q0 is the weight applied correct fine so p01l that is last peers price index number is 
the sum of p1 divided by sum of p0 and then q0 and q0 is weight applied multiplied by 100 as usual in terms of expressing index number in percentage fine so based on the given data write it in terms of notations commodities have been written here look at the cursor i have taken just commodities as commodities and then base year quantities are nothing but q0 as we have already seen and base year price is nothing but p0 current year prices are nothing but p1 so these are given data only captions i am asking you to concentrate first and then based on the formula what all are needed to be calculated you can see p1 q0 we want so that that p1 q0 have been written over here and then p0 q0 are required so that p0 q0 has been written here these two column like you know columns in addition it is to be calculated so we shall see in the next slide how that calculation and after calculation only remaining is substitution of these two values in the formula and then multiplied by 100 calculation and next arriving at final answer so here is the calculation shown so this much like you know commodities q0 p0 and p1 this much was already given so p0 and q0 was to be calculated p1 q0 to be calculated so here p0 and q0 where are those p0 and q0 so 20 multiplied by 8 is 160 40 multiplied by 12 is 480 in that fashion all these remaining calculations have to be performed after that in the denominator here in the previous slide summation was required summation of p0 q0 that's why this p0 q0 summation has been taken which is resulting as 9 sorry 18 90 then one more thing was required p1 q0 so p1 is here and q0 is here so that 4 multiplied by 20 is 80 10 multiplied by 40 is 400 similar way all these have to be performed the calculations so sum of those values i mean to tell sum of p1 q0 is equal to 2830 these all values when you add 2830 you are getting so once after calculating sum of p0 q0 and sum of p1 q0 the formula is known fact to us substitute these values so 2830 in numerator de denominator 1890 multiplied by 100 when you perform this it will be resulting in 149.74 price index number using last peers method is 149.74 so the conclusion is 49.74 percent increase in the price level of commodities in current year as compared to base year this way like you know may have to be given at the end answer next example using the following data calculate appropriate price index numbers for the years 2010 and 2011 with regard to base 2005 so in this statement what you are understanding Calculate appropriate price index numbers in plural weight is given so that two or more index numbers are to be calculated in this example. For the year, index numbers are to be calculated for the years 2010 and 2011 it seems. So in the sense 2010 as well as 2011 will be considered as current years with regard to base 2005 so 2005 is the base year this base year 2005 is considered as base year for these both 2010 and 2011 one index number to be calculated 
in 2010 as compared to 2005 another index number to be calculated in 2011 as compared to 2005 that is what is the meaning of given statements so here rice wheat sugar and dal are different commodities given prices in 2005 in 2010 and in 2011 it has been given according to notations as we have taken base year 2005 this 2005 price will happen like you know will happen to be p not and 2010 price let us take it as p1 once when taken this 2010 as p1 2011 let us take it as p2 and quantities in terms of 2005 it is given that's why this will become q not because 2005 is base year so this much is the data given we need to calculate for 2010 and 2011 index numbers which index numbers to be calculated agreed that for two years 2010 and 2011 index numbers are needed but which index number to be calculated that you need to decide students based on the given data so here in order to calculate index number for 2010 2010 will be current year and 2005 will be base year we have said so current year price and base year price will be there so p1 divided by p0 format is possible so quantities are given as weights which are applied to these commodities once when p1 p0 values are there it is certain that price index numbers are to be calculated and quantities are given the weights which quantities base year quantities that means quantity of 2005 so which is the index number to be calculated when base year quantities are applied as the weights try to recall obviously last year's index numbers are to be calculated here so last year's index number for 2010 last year's index number for 2011 to be calculated by considering 2005 as the base year so here appropriate index number is last year's index number so what is that last year's index number formula we know already p01 last year's is equal to sum of p1 divided by sum of p0 format q0 and q0 is the weight applied multiplied by 100 so here let us take the consideration of writing all these captions in terms of notations so 2005 price is nothing but base year price so p0 and 2010 price let us consider as p1 and 2011 price let us consider it to be p2 and quantity 2005 q0 because 2005 is the base year then based on this formula let us see what all to be calculated here p1 q0 is required so p1 q0 we may have to calculate and p0 q0 is required so that p0 q0 also is required to be calculated once when you are calculating index number for 2010 it is p1 divided by p0 format because 2010 we have considered it to be p1 2011 when you are calculating this we have given the notation as p2 correct 2011 so here it becomes p2 divided by p0 format understand clearly students here for 2011 when you are calculating instead of p1 by p0 it is 2 by p0 it will become p2 divided by p0 and q0 and q0 will be anyhow the considered weights multiplied by 100 as it is so that we will be re in requirement of p2 
Q not here, correct? So P two Q not is also to be calculated. So we shall perform those calculations and then substitute and get the results. Here, these many like you know P not, P one, P two, and Q not were given already. P not, Q not is required. P1 Q0 is required, P2 Q0 is required to be calculated in order to substitute here for 2010 as well as 2011 last year's index number. So here, when you consider P01 last year's is equal to sum of P1 Q0 divided by sum of P0 Q0 multiplied by 100 for 2000. 10 then p1 q0 is required to be calculated that's why p1 q0 has been written how to calculate p1 and q0 24 multiplied by 10 240 in the similar way 21 multiplied by 2 42 similarly all these are to be calculated in the similar fashion using these data p0 q0 i mean to tell p0 total column and Q0 total column are to be multiplied and written P0 Q0. P2 Q0 also in the same way P2 are here and Q0 are here 33 multiplied by 10 330 24 multiplied by 2 48 25 multiplied by 2 50 180 multiplied by 1 is equal to 180. This way you know it has to be completed the calculation. And sums are required, sum of P1 Q0 is required so that this sum of P1 Q0 will be adding all these values in the column, it will become 466. So this 466, let it be in the numerator and sum of P0 Q0 is required so that P0 Q0 sum is 310 that is to be substituted multiplied by 100 when you perform, it will become 150.32. That is nothing but 50.32% increase in the price level of commodities in current year as compared to base year. Similar way when you perform P02L, substitute these P2Q0 and P0Q0 summations. So that 608 is sum of P2Q0, substitute it and 310 is sum of P0, Q0, substitute that. So 608 divided by 310 multiplied by 100 will give you 196.13, which is nothing but 96.13 percentage is increased in the price level of commodities as compared to base year. So this is how the conclusions are to be written. Keep practicing students. Without practice, you will feel the things to be difficult. So practice well the formulas and problem solving. Thank you so much. Take care.